My name is uh, Terry Murphy. I'm Professor Emeritus of Religious Studies and History at St. Mary's University in Halifax. And I'm a collaborator on the project which deals with the Irish Catholic community in Halifax in the 19th century. The project places the Irish Catholics in a broader uh, framework, but my focus is specifically on Halifax and even more specifically on the religious life of the Irish Catholic community, particularly in the 1840s and the 1850s, which was a period of tremendous growth and transformation. Roman Catholics in Halifax had always been treated relatively well by the wider population. I think they were also aware that they were an immigrant community in some ways regarded with suspicion and distrust. So in the early days, they tended to make their way in the, in the Halifax society uh, largely by being low-keyed and quiet about their practices. But by the middle of the 19th century, they were growing in confidence and showed a willingness to display Catholic beliefs and piety and devotional practices in the public sphere. Well, there were a range of important developments, really, that included advances in uh, Catholic educational life, uh, associational life, and pastoral resources. For example, it was in 1841, two years before the cemetery opened, that St. Mary's College got its first charter. And in 1845, there was a second parish opened in the north end of the city, St. Patrick's. Um, not least of all, in 1849, two orders of re women religious arrived in the city, the Sisters of Charity and the Religious of the Sacred Heart. And they had a tremendous impact on the life of rank and file Catholics throughout the city. Another aspect of the development of the Irish Catholic community in these years was the flowering of associational life. Um, there was a whole network of devotional and philanthropic societies that came into existence, and they worked in an overlapping way to uh, provide relief for the poor and also to promote the attachment of rank-and-file Catholics to the church. I would say that these years were absolutely transformational. Um, externally, what we see is a vast increase in institutional resources. You might say that there was a blossoming of the pastoral structures of the Catholic community in the city. But even more importantly, internally, it was a period that reflected a tremendous growth in unity, um, confidence, and collective self-esteem. Besides the progress that was made during these years, one has to admit that the 1850s in particular were a time of rising sectarian tensions in the city. But when we talk about sectarian conflict in Halifax, we have to keep those tensions in perspective. For one thing, uh, the Irish Catholic population had been well received almost from the outset in the city. They'd achieved early relief from the penal code, largely with the support of sympathetic Protestants and that allowed them to participate fully in the political and professional life of the city. And for another thing, uh, while conflicts did increase in the 1850s, they were less severe and certainly less violent than conflicts that occurred in other centers of Irish Catholic settlement. 